One of the most important concepts that you need to be able to understand about Adobe Photoshop is layers. Layers is really what set Adobe Photoshop apart from the rest of the market back when it was first introduced, when it wasn't even Adobe that were making it. So let's have a look at how we work with this. What I want you to do is work along with me in this video so that you understand the concepts that I'm trying to discuss. First thing we're going to do is create a new image. We're going to give it a name and we're going to call it Layers. We're going to leave it at 1920 by 1280 a screen resolution at 300 pixels per inch 300 pixels per inch is the print resolution that we use when we're going to turn our images into photographs It'd leave everything else as it is and click OK and as you remember from my previous um, video we looked at artboard and we're going to get rid of this artboard because I want to work with a raw image so there we go that's that done. I did that by right-clicking, if you remember, right-clicking on the, on the artboard and clicking Ungroup Artboards. Now we've got a simple image to work with, with a background that's transparent, i.e. there is nothing in it. So if we were to save this out, it would be a pure white JPEG, or if we saved it as a PNG file, it would be a transparent file, so there would be nothing in it. What we're going to do is we're going to create some shapes and some things onto this canvas without actually affecting the original image. So for the purpose of this, we're going to create a new layer. We're going to click out to the Layers tab here. You could also do this down here on the bottom right hand corner. In fact, I'm going to show you where it is up here. You go to Layer, New, and New Layer. It also shows the keyboard shortcut Shift Control N. Or you can do it down here by clicking on the New Layer button here. And as you can see, it's created a new layer called Layer 2. We can change the name of that. So we're going to call this one by double clicking on the name we're going to call this one blob so there we go so now we've got this extra layer and you're thinking to yourself but there's nothing in that layer either what's the point I don't understand okay best way of explaining layers is to think about them as this if you had a photograph that you wanted to make changes to but you didn't want to actually change the original photograph so you would lay, for example, an acetate sheet over the top of it and you could draw glasses on people or moustaches or black out their teeth, whatever amuses you. And then looking at it from a distance, you see an image of a face, a person's face with a moustache and glasses drawn on them. But once you remove the acetate sheet, the original image stays unaltered. That's essentially what we're doing with layers. We call this non-destructive editing. So for example, I'm going to draw I'm going to put a gradient into the background so I've got a gradient selected here I'm going to change it so what we do is we click on this is often looks like the paint bucket tool we right click on it and we click on the gradient tool there then if we go to the top left hand corner and we click on this black to white gradient here we can actually choose one of the preset gradients here you can adjust these but we'll talk about those in a different video so now I've got my gradient tool selected I'm going to click and hold on the left hand side and then I'm going to drag all the way across to the other side of the screen and then I'm going to let go so that's created this gradient across the screen and if I were to do it elsewhere it'll just keep creating gradients as, as I drag and click in various different places but I want one that goes from one side of the page to the other like so so now this gradient is our background layer now if I want to draw things on top of this but I don't want to mess up the background layer. For example, if I'm not 100% sure about the changes that I want to make yet, I can click on the new layer, the new layer called Blob. I'm going to come to my paintbrush tool by clicking there. Uh, I've got a preset change there, so I'm just going to quickly change that. So the paintbrush tool brings you to this. Now, I'm going to use the square bracket keys. Those are the ones next to the return key. And as you can see, if I press the left hand one, it shrinks. And if I press the right hand one, it grows. So I'm going to make it a reasonably sized shape. But I've got a random color selected there. And I'm going to check my opacity at the top here is 100%. And then I'm just going to click and drop that blob. Now, there's a blob smack bang in the middle of my, of my uh, gradient. But if I were to click on the move tool, making sure that I've got the blob layer selected, I can drag that blob 
around the screen and if you'll notice there's no change being made to the background layer the background layer remains untampered with so let's say I'm quite happy with that blob and I want to leave it just there but now I may want to create another layer so I'm going to go back down create a new layer and I'm going to I'm not going to rename this one you get the point about renaming the layers just there so now I'm going to create another blob but I'm going to change the color so I'm going to go for a, a yellow blob there we go bright yellow now I'm going to go back to my paintbrush tool and I'm going to create another blob in the middle I'm going to use my move tool and now I can put that blob anywhere I want notice that the other blob is not moving and that's really the essentially the basic principle behind layers is that I can actually edit this image and add new things to it without changing the background so if I've got this picture like this and I suddenly think actually do you know what I really don't like that purple but I like the yellow I can go down here to the layers tab and these eye shapes next to the layer I can just turn that off and there you go there's no purple anymore it's still there in case halfway through I suddenly think do you know what actually I did like the purple after all so I don't have to delete the layer I can just turn the layer visibility off and then when I save the image as a JPEG, what you see on the screen is what is saved. So if I save it as a PSD document, that layer will stay there and its visibility will remain off. So that if I decide in a year's time, actually, I want to put that purple blob in there now, that's, that's fine. I can do that. That's fantastic. And that's essentially the basic principle of how layers work. We will go into more in-depth techniques using layers later on.